Hi guys, as part of today's lab, we will learn how to build a small data acquisition system where we will read analog data from a sensor. In this case, we will use a potentiometer and use the embed board and then transfer the data serially via USB to the PC. Now in your previous labs you had read the analog data, the signal and you had displayed it on a LCD and in another lab you learned how to make the embed platform communicate via USB on a serial interface to the PC. Now in today's lab we will learn how to combine both these concepts. So we will first read the data into the embed board and then transmit it on the PC and view it on the serial port. So let's go ahead and look at the program. I'll explain to you the program. First we have hash include embed.h then it's a good idea to include stdlib and stdio.h now from the previous lab you know that we have to declare a serial function the variable is PC and since we are using the USB serial interface on the board this is your USB serial interface I'll explain the connections of the potentiometer soon back here this is my embed interface and this is my USB connection D plus and D minus which I then connect to my PC and through my serial PC interface which we did in the previous lab you are able to communicate serially to the PC and back here so we use the USB TX USB RX and then we define an analog in function the variable is port we give it the name port and we connect it to PTB3 so on the board here this is the fixed terminal of the potentiometer and this is connected to VDD this is 3V3 from your connection pin you know that this is ground which is the other terminal right here and the variable terminal of the potentiometer I have connected it here this one is PTB3 so on the code here we have specified PTB3 now I make a variable which is of the type float floating point and I name it as voltage now I initialize this to 2 you can initialize this to 0 as well doesn't really matter now just to test the serial interface we print the phrase hello world now let's change this to reading analog value now a slash R means a return carriage which means that if I say reading analog value then it will give something called as a carriage return which is your enter basically so it will put into a new line 
so then in my infinite loop I know that this pot the variable pot will vary from 0 to 1 scaled by VDD from our previous lab we know that and in this case VDD is 3.3 .3 volts so for example if my analog voltage is 1.65 volts then my pot which is this variable here will be equal to 1.65 divided by 3.3 .3, which is equal to 0.5 so to get the actual voltage to get the actual voltage we have to multiply this by 3.3 .3. so we will say pot multiplied by 3.3 .3. So that's what we have done here. Voltage is equal to pot multiplied by 3.3. .3. Now remember voltage is of the type float. And then we do the printf function. Basically we are sending the string using the printf function. So we say voltage is float. So the percentage 2f means that percentage point 2f means that it will be up to two decimal points so if the analog voltage is 0.3353 then you will actually get just 0.33 this will be truncated so what I do is when I write percentage 0.2 F and then voltage so this automatically converts this value and prints it as a string and the PC dot printf then sends this string via the serial interface okay so it's quite straightforward so PC dot printf I take the value of voltage and then I print it up to two decimal points and then I give a weight function for one second so if you observe carefully I've given a space here as well so that we can see the value so this is a straightforward program now let's so let's go ahead and compile this and save it in the folder where we want to save it so before I program this file onto the board let us go ahead and start the application the terminal application now if you remember that we have to confirm the COM port that we are using for the serial communication so let's go ahead and check that on my computer right click manage then we go to device manager then we have ports and here we see that the embed serial port is on COM9 so I will go ahead and configure this to COM9 okay and then I will go ahead and program the embed board 
so this was my file I'm going to cut this and then go to the embed folder so, and if you remember it's through my computer right click and paste so now before I reset the board to check the output let's make sure that the terminal application is listening on to the serial port so I click on connect so now this is listening on to the serial port and now on the board let's go ahead and hit the reset button make sure that you're looking at the video of the board and the screen together so the minute I press enter and reset here take a look at the serial port so you see that we are transmitting a value of 3.3 .3 volts as I am wearing the potentiometer the value is reducing and if I increase it back again it starts increasing so you see that I have read the analog data through the potentiometer and I'm able to send it serially to the PC now you can try different types of serial algorithms of sending data this was the simple pc.printf remember that the put C function that you used in the previous lab the put C can only send an integer type so if you want to print a float value you'll have to send a value through the printf command and then convert it back into float so as part of this lab we saw that you can convert an analog value read through the analog in function and then we send it through serial onto the PC so this was a application where you can read any analog value transmit it to the PC and also use it for processing in the freedom board I hope this lab session was clear I'll see you in the next lab session thank you